YouTube. We'll call this part one of our sled build, which isn't really a sled build because doing a wrap and a finger throttle and maybe a bumper isn't really a sled build, but we'll, make, <clears throat> we'll break this video up into a couple parts. And if you guys want to see some other accessory installs, since I've had a couple requests, we'll uh, maybe do that too. But I'm going to load the sleds up on the truck, head over to the shop because I don't really feel like wrenching in my beautiful garage here. And, uh, make it look a little more professional. Dude, you're in my seat. Okay, is this how it's gonna go? Oh. So I gotta pull these sides out. Put this pin in. Something I kind of forgot to do is ask the dealer to program these keys in the sand. So when I start these up, it's just a guessing game of which is which, because I haven't marked them yet. Such a pain having to move the sleds over to the shop to work on them. Wish I had a shop. I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but it'd just be easier. Then I could work on them after work. And well, it looks like we got a dump truck in here. Give the shop a little clean up here. Man, don't those things just look wicked up there? I mean, some people are hating on the color scheme for this year, but I love it. We're all set up in the shop. We got the wrap up on the wall here. You can't see it though. Not clearly anyway. Uh, I forgot how many pieces were in a wrap. Jesus. I thought it was two sheets, but I guess it's actually three per wrap. So might take us a minute to get it on here. See if we get it on today. It's 12.30 now. I think it takes me about two hours of wrap. I've done a few of them, so <laughs> pretty quick at it. Hey Ryder, are you gonna help us? So, you, so I've been using ECD Customs wraps for a few years now. This will be my third year actually. Great service, top notch. I don't think there's anyone better. Also the wrap is excellent quality. You see me taking off the old decals here. Uh, the last two years actually, I don't even think I've even taken off my decals. I kind of just <laughs> throw it right over top in hopes that when I take my wrap off, the deck will still be there, but uh, it doesn't really work that way. So it looks a little bit cleaner if we just take these off so you don't see the tiny line around where the decal is. Adding a tiny little bit of heat to the decal makes it come right off. And if you get a little bit of sticky stuff left on, just take your decal 
and he'll peel it actually right up most of the time. Well, I'm not really sure what happened, but as you can see, it's dark out here now. It's about eight o'clock. I haven't even laid on a single piece of wrap. I haven't even finished taking the wrap off. I just I kept uh, getting sidetracked and people were asking me to help them. So yeah, we'll get started on this now. I don't know if we'll finish tonight. Sure hope we do because I got to have these sleds out of here before seven o'clock tomorrow morning. So yeah. Take them off some wrap pieces here. And I noticed in my chain case, got a little, uh -oh stuck now got a little spare bolt here so i gotta put this bolt back in in this spot right here and then i notice there's a bolt missing right there too well here we go slap the first piece on here i'll be honest with you guys i'm not uh, too picky when it comes to the wrap and how it comes how the pieces line up because it's never gonna be perfect. Doesn't matter what you do. And I usually only leave the wrap on for a year. Anyway, as you can see, pretty good. One done, 300 to go. That skidoo feeling, let's toss that on. Except this part's gonna get covered up by the link bracket at some point, so that's kinda disappointing. Uh, this way. Hopefully I got the right sled here. Toss on this big piece here. Don't judge me, it's not gonna be pretty. So I'm kind of curious how long it takes you other guys to wrap your sleds. I think the first wrap I ever did took me almost 14 hours, if you could believe that. Now, I thought it was gonna take me two. I'm probably gonna be more like two and a half, but that's not too bad, I guess. Not looking too pretty. This is not a how-to video. What are we looking at? Two hours and 16 minutes. Uh, over here. With the new uh, hood and the new turbo vent here, some pieces took me a little bit longer to figure out where to put them. I don't know why I put Monster here. I definitely should have had turbo. It's about 10 o'clock now. We got one sled all wrapped up. You guys ready for it? Oh shit, it's all blurry. What's with this shitty camera? I guess uh, that's too bad. I guess you don't really get to see. But yeah, there it is. Well, like I said, it's 10.30 though, so we still have one sled to wrap up. This one took me two and a half hours. I guess we'll see how long this one takes me. I don't really want to stay up to friggin' one in the morning, but uh, that might be the case. I mean, I could call in sick in the morning, but I also have to have these sleds out of the shop by seven o'clock tomorrow morning, so. It might be hard to pull off. I don't know how calling in sick to your old man works, but. Uh... All right, here we go. 8.35 or 10.35. We'll see how long this one takes me. Uh, yep, let's get it going. They're all wrapped up. It is, let's see, 12.02, whatever that looked like to you. Uh, the only pieces I got left are these things. And I have no idea where they're for. So, whatever. And we got this brow strip I haven't put on. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put that on. I kind of like, kind of like the look of the free ride in the front there. I mean, it does look kind of out of place, but I like the free ride. Now that I got these things wrapped up, I know it's just a wrap, but frig, they look so good to me. I'm so stoked to get out there and rip these things. It's gonna be a crazy year. Can't wait. But uh, it's like getting close to one o'clock. Gotta get these things loaded up back over to the house. Next weekend, we'll throw on our monster parts, finger throttle, brake reservoir, 
momentary kill switch, shot switch, uh, rail brace, and that's about it. Anyway, we'll see you guys next weekend. Thanks for watching.